Hi everyone, try to have your calculator work this out. What is 100 factorial? The number of full permutations or orderings of 100 different or distinct items. Your calculator blows up, doesn't it? This is way too big. So that's the number of full permutations of 100 distinct items. Now that's fair for homework. These n factorial problems are fair for your homework. But partial permutations will not be fair on your homework. Now, these correspond to NPR on your calculators. Again, NPN, the number of full permutations of n distinct items, which is n factorial, that's fair. But these will not be fair, where r is less than n. So for example, let's say that we have seven runners running in an Olympic race. Again, no ties. In how many ways can fate assign a gold medal for first place, a silver medal for second place, and a bronze medal for third place. So in other words, what is 7P3? The number of partial permutations of seven distinct items taken three at a time. So we have a pool of n equals seven runners. Of these, we have r equals three medalists. And the order matters among the medalists. Oh yes, you care if you win gold versus bronze. Lawsuits have been brought. We want 7P3. Well, how many possibilities are there for the gold medalist? Seven. How many possibilities are there then for the silver medalist? Then we have six possibilities. Once these two have been established, how many possibilities for the bronze medalist? Five. So seven times six times five, this is really based on the old counting rule, and that's 210. Or uh, another way to look at it, if you consider all seven factorial ways to order all seven runners, there's a dividing line. Line them up in order. We care about the order among the three winners, but we don't care about the order among the four losers. Now, I know that it's cruel to call these losers, uh, but in China, you better win the gold, otherwise you're a loser. <laughs> Certainly in China, the non-medalists would be losers. But since we don't care about the order among the losers, we take the seven factorial and we divide it by four factorial. And that's how you get 7P3. When you do this and you do these cancellations here, you end up with 210. Seven factorial is seven times six times five times the rest of this is four factorial that cancels out with the bottom. So again, 7P3 is the number of ways to choose and order three different items from a pool of seven different items without replacement. You can't have one person getting two medals. It's the number of partial permutations of seven distinct items taken three at a time. The general formula goes like this. NPR, where R is no more than N, integer, it's equal to n factorial, the number of full permutations of the n runners, divided by n minus r, all factorial. If there are r winners, there are n minus r losers, and we don't care about their order. Now, next up, what if we don't care about the order among the winners either? Next time.